I've got my one edge stitch. We're going to slip that one like we always do. Then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven same stitches. Let's work those. Slip, oops, slip the first stitch and work the same color. We're going to ask ourselves a couple of questions. What is my background color? If I'm going to knit the same color as my background, what color is that? Let's look at this great big field of plain colors and we can see that it's the dark brown. This will change on the next row, which is why we ask ourselves and double check. My background is dark brown, so I'm going to knit si seven pairs of stitches, knitting the same color, and then immediately following, purling the other color. Remember, every square in this chart is represented by two actual stitches of double knitting, a pair of a knit and a purl. Knit the same color as the background, purl opposite to whatever you just knitted. Let's do that seven times for seven pairs of stitches. You can notice, if you're watching carefully, that I'm giving the yarn a little tug after I finish a couple of stitches. This is because, here you can see right here, I didn't use that dark brown just now, so it's a little loose. And so I don't want to get loose stitches down here, so I'm just going to give that a tug and sort of re-tension it. See, the blue is a little loose, so I'm going to give it a little tug. Did I do enough? Let's count. Here's our slip stitch, and then we're going to count in pairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at that, I did just enough. Now it's time to work these four black, dot, black dots, which are going to be opposite to our background color. What is my background color? dark brown. We're going to knit opposite to that dark brown, which is the other color, which is blue. So knit with the blue, thus bringing a blue stitch to the foreground, and immediately after, purl with the dark brown. Every single stitch needs a purl stitch of the opposite color immediately following. That's how we create the same design on the other side. I said four of those, so we're going to continue to knit with our opposite color and then purl with the other one four times. Let's double check if we did enough. Remember, we're going to count in pairs. And I'm going to look for pairs of the opposite color. There's a blue knit stitch followed by a brown purl stitch, so there's one. I'm just going to go ahead and count this way. I did one, two, three, four, oh, that's the same pair. So I did four, which is how many I was supposed to in the chart. Continuing to read from right to left, just like we knit, it looks like all of the rest of the stitches are going to be same color stitches until the very last stitch, which as you know by now, we just purl with both colors together. So continuing to work, what color is my background? It's dark brown, so let's knit with dark brown and purl with blue, and I will meet you at the end of this row. Finishing our row by moving both yarns to the front and purling the last stitch with both colors held together. There we go, we've got our first stitch of patterning. I know it doesn't look like much yet, but it will. Moving on to the next row in our chart. Let's look at our chart. Next row we do, we're going to read it from left to right. Looks like I've got my plain stitch, which I always slip. Then... 10... Oops, sorry. Same color stitches. Oh, wobbly. 10 same color stitches. six opposite color stitches, 
and 6 same color stitches ending with a purl stitch with both colors. That's what that's going to look like is like this. Slip the first stitch. Now ask myself what is my background color and you can see that this big field of colors is light blue. That's my background color and I'm going to work 10 same knit with blue, our background color. Pearl with brown. That's one pair. Two pairs. Let's see if I did enough. I'm going to count from left to right this time, counting by pairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then there's our first slip stitch. So I did ten of the same color as the background. Now I said we were going to do six opposite colors. What we're going to do is go ahead and insert our needle like we're going to knit and grab an opposite color. This time, since our background's blue, opposite is going to be brown. Immediately pearl with the blue. Now, this is a very key point that I want to make really clear. We're going to do the same thing again. Do not let this throw you. Here is a knit stitch of an opposite color. Does that matter? No. Our background color is blue. We're going to knit with opposite, which happens to be brown. This may confuse you. It just ha it, All that means is that we happened to knit with an opposite color on the last row. This row of stitches is our last row that we already did. So don't look at the color of the stitch. Look at the color of your background and ask, your ask yourself, does my chart say same color or opposite color as my background? Mine says opposite for six stitches, which I've done now two of, each stitch being a pair. Did I do enough? Did I do six? Let's count. Oops. A pair with a black knit stitch, that would be at one opposite stitch. Right there. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and this is one with a same color stitch as our knit stitch. So that's good. We did six. That's exactly what we needed to do. Finishing out the end of this row, we're going to continue working on our same color, which happens to be blue, and purling with the opposite color, which is brown. Hopefully, y'all should be getting the idea by now. This is basically as complicated as it gets. A little workout for your brain. So remember, the, the questions that you must ask yourself are, what is my background color? Do not look at these stitches to determine your background color, because you may have been following a chart on the previous row. Look at this big field of color that you started out with that's like most of these. Then ask yourself, does my chart say same or opposite? Same being a white square and opposite being a dark square. And lastly, remember that you always work in pairs except for the first and last stitch of every row. The first one is slipped, the last one is purled. And that is creating, look at this, is creating a nice little V of stitches on the very end. And that just looks absolutely lovely. And I've got the beginning of my polka dot, which is exactly what my chart should look like.